China's H-20 stealth bomber is projected to establish an altogether new realm of threat dynamics. Washington, D.C. China's developing B-2 copycat H-20 stealth bomber is likely to offer an altogether new field of threat dynamics to the U.S. as it further cements China's nuclear triad and substantially increases its nuclear attack range to cover major areas of the continental U.S. While there is much remains to be learned about the H-20, there are numerous reasons why U.S. weapons developers are likely to take it very seriously. For instance, if the H-20 can expand its range beyond the first island chain off the coast of China, then it might not only hold the Philippines, Japan, and parts of the South China Sea at danger, but also threaten Guam, a U.S. territory. Certainly, if expanded with a refueler, the H-20 may be in a position to attack Hawaii or possibly sections of the mainland U.S. The Pentagon's China Military Power Study Report as far back as 2018 and 2019 claimed China's new H-20 long-range stealth bomber will potentially present paradigm-changing threats since it is likely to operate within 8,500 km range. This would hold major, hitherto inaccessible portions of the U.S. at risk in unprecedented ways. A stated range of 8,000 500 kilometers is significantly less than a B-2 bomber's range of more than 6,700 miles, but Pentagon sources have prompted fears that the Chinese may also be constructing a refuelable aircraft that may reach initial operating capability before the long-range bomber. Perhaps of much greater worry, the Pentagon study warns is that such a refueler may expand long-range offensive bomber capacity beyond the second island chain. A refueler could also substantially change the equation and enable it to rival the mission scope of a B-2, which, as many know, successfully completed 44 hours missions from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri to Diego Garcia, a small island off the Indian coast during Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. Added to this dangerous scenario, Research from the London-based Royal United Services Institute for Defense and Security Studies report notes that the state-of-the-art H-20 can carry a vast weapons payload of 45 tons and fly great distances without mid-air refueling. While the specific composition of its stealth qualities or radar signature reducing technology may not be completely known, Published pictures and drawings indicate an aircraft that one could claim looks in some areas to be indistinguishable from a U.S. B-2. There is nothing surprising about this, given China's well-known and well-documented propensity of seeking to steal or replicate U.S. weapon systems. It appears particularly clear in the case of the H-20. It includes a similar rounded upper fuselage, blended wing body, curved upper air inlets, and basically no vertical structures. There appears to be a good amount of evidence, simply available to the naked eye, to illustrate China's probable copycat strategy. The B-2 is notable for its long endurance flights as well. During Operation Enduring Freedom in the beginning days of the Afghan conflict, US B-2 performed 44-hour missions from Whiteman AFB, Miss, to Diego Garcia, a tiny island off of the Indian coastline. From there, B-2s launched bombing sorties over Afghanistan in support of U.S. ground forces. While this operation undoubtedly needed refueling, it does attest to the benefits and tactical advantages of the long-endurance bombardment. It is also not apparent if the H-20 could succeed in rivaling the U.S. B-2, given the level of improvements and adaptations the Air Force has performed with the 1980s model. The B-2 will soon include air defense dodging defensive management system sensors, a thousand-fold quicker computer processor, and armament improvements to include the ability to drop the B-61 Mod-12 nuclear bomb. The B-2, which is planned to fly alongside the new B-21 until sufficient numbers of B-21s arrive, will be a considerably different jet in a few years when compared to its 1980s roots, as the Pentagon aims to guarantee the platform remains relevant and powerful for many years into the future. A fifth-generation Chinese bomber 
The Pentagon's 2019 China report quotes 2016 public statements by People's Liberation Army Air Force Commander General Mike Xiaoshan announcing the development of the H-20 and indicating the weapon may arrive sometime in the future decades. Well, sure enough, the following decade is here and early drawings look to reflect some of Xi Ocean's statements on Chinese goals for the bomber. According to the Pentagon's China report, he stated the H-20 will employ fifth-generation technologies. An ability to build and deploy fifth-gen systems into the bomber may continue to be seen to some extent, since much is still unknown. However, the Chinese have already created some possibly fifth-gen aircraft with the J-20 and J-31. At the very least, the exterior does appear to be stealthy. It appears like it has an integrated engine, the blended wing body, a lack of vertical components, and engine air ducts braided into the frame below the fuselage. The B-2, by contrast, has air ducts rising from the top of the fuselage, yet several design characteristics undeniably seem to resemble a B-2. The Pentagon study noticed that a putative H-20 prototype featured a flying wing airframe comparable to the B-2 bomber and X-47B stealth unmanned combat aircraft vehicle. A B-2, B-21 copycat, can the H-20 compete with U.S. Air Force bombers? While much is not known about the H-20 bomber, its exterior design and horizontal blended wing body resemble a U.S. B-2 or B-21. As for its capacity to compete with a B-2 or B-21, there may simply be too many unknowns. However, a few ideas do spring to mind. The B-21 airframe, for instance, appears to have minimal or nearly no exterior exhaust pipes, raising the issue of whether it utilizes innovative thermal management or heat dispersion technology. A fundamental aim, when it comes to building stealth bomber airframes, is to strive toward having them mirror or align with the ambient temperature of the atmosphere so as to be less visible to thermal sensors. Also, while most of the B-21 specifics remain black, for obvious reasons, top Air Force officers have indicated the platform incorporates a new generation of stealth technology and can hold any target at risk in the globe at any time. This shows that there may be a high amount of confidence that the new B-21 will be able to triumph against the most advanced current and expected future air defense systems. An ability to avoid both surveillance and engagement radar in a current technical environment would be quite an accomplishment, given powerful Russian air defenses such as the S-400 and S-500 contain a new generation of technology. Not only do they employ digital networking to connect radar nodes, rely upon quicker computer processing, and follow aircraft on a broader range of frequencies, but they also claim to be able to detect stealth to a great degree. This may remain as of yet unverified, since it is something claimed by the Russian media, although it has motivated U.S. weapons developers to explore alternative paradigms for stealth technology. Also, the sophistication of these modern air defenses may be one reason why, at least when it comes to stealth jets, top Air Force weapons developers regard stealth as simply one arrow in a quiver of means to dodge and destroy adversary air defenses. Nonetheless, there is no apparent data to suggest a fresh B-21 would have any problem against the most modern air defenses. Discussions along these lines are likely to remain for years, at least until much more is known about the B-21. Air Force officials predict the B-21 will be nearly undetectable, something which may very well be true. Finally, it may not even be certain that China's new H-20 bomber could even completely compete with the U.S. B-2. While the B-2 may be considered a rather old 1980s built platform, years of Air Force improvements have dramatically modified the performance characteristics of the bomber. The B-2 is currently being developed with a so-called defensive management system sensor meant to locate sites of enemy air defenses and hence fly around them. The B-2 is also being supplied with a new 1,000-fold quicker computer processor and being prepared to integrate new weapons platforms, such as the current, improved B-61 Mod-12 nuclear bomb. Finally, 
Much like what is said about the H-20, both the B-2 and B-21 are built to carry and launch long-range nuclear and conventional cruise missiles, such as the Air Force's upcoming long-range standoff weapon. Overall, the current B-2, which is presently being constructed to fly alongside the B-21 until adequate numbers of B-21s are available, is nothing like the aircraft which originally debuted in the late 80s. Along these lines, both the B-21 and B-2 are constructed with the frequently discussed open architecture plan intended to lay down the technical equipment required to maintain eternal upgradability. Chris Osborne is the defense editor at the National Interest. Osborne formerly served in the Pentagon as a highly qualified expert with the Office of the Assistant Secretary of the Army. Acquisition, Logistics, and Technology Osborne has previously served as an anchor and on-air military specialist for national TV networks. He has appeared as a guest military expert on Fox News, MSNBC, The Military Channel, and the History Channel. He also possesses a master's degree in comparative literature from Columbia University.